And this next part, we're asked to hence expand this particular fraction, x plus 8 all over the square root of 4 minus 3x, up to term in x squared. Now in the earlier part of the question, we worked out this expansion. So how can we use it? Well, when you look at this, this is the same as x plus 8 being multiplied by 1 over the square root of 4 minus 3x, which if we take this expansion up here, is the same then as multiplying x plus 8 with 1 half plus 3 sixteenths x plus 27 over 2 five six x squared and so on. So multiplying this out, let's start with the x, x times each of the terms through the bracket here, that's going to give half x then x times the 3 sixteenths x, that's going to be 3 sixteenths x squared. And if I was to multiply the x with the x squared, we're going to have an x cubed. That's not going to be in this, so I'll just carry on and say and so on. Now we'll pick up the 8 multiplied by each of the terms there. So we have 8 times a half, which is going to be 4. 8 times the 3 sixteenths x, which is going to be 3 over 2 x. And then finally, 8 times the 27 over 256 x squared. That's going to be 27 over 32 x squared. And that's going to carry on. So all we need to do is just group up terms now. And what we have is that this is identical then to 4. And then the x terms we have plus 2x. And when we group up the x squared terms, you should find you get 33 over 32x squared. And the series would carry on. So we have the first three terms in the series here. And that brings us to the end of this question.